Exercise 120, Y delta and delta Y circuit methods. The circuit has one DC voltage source and six resistors. Calculate the current through resistor C. Calculate IC using basic circuit methods, not advanced circuit methods like loop current, node voltage, or Thevenin and Norton. The basic strategy is determine the total resistance, total current voltages across 6, 5, and C, and then the current through resistor C. That's a basic method for solving a circuit. Sounds good, except there's a problem. Which two resistors are in series? Pause the video and try to find them. Which two resistors are in parallel? Pause the video and find them. Did you conclude that no two resistors are in series or parallel? That's right, no two resistors are in series. No two resistors are in parallel. There is a way to solve this without using advanced circuit methods. The Y delta or delta Y transformation can be used. We first identify three nodes connecting three resistors. It could be helpful to rearrange them into a delta configuration, for example. Well, this delta is upside down. Insert three new red resistors, R1, 2, and 3, drawn as a Y configuration. It looks like a Y between the three nodes. Labeling the three red resistors is important. R1 is opposite RA, R2 is opposite RB, R3 is opposite RC. Replace RA, RB, and RC. Replace with R1, R2, and R3. Notice that R4 and R3 are in series. Notice that R5 and R1 are in series. Combine R4 and R3. Combine R5 and R1. Combine R43 and R51. Combine these three series resistors. Calculate the source current. Then calculate V6, calculate VD. Notice that VD here is the same as VD here. Then calculate I51. I51 is the same as I5. I5 here is the same as I5 here. Calculate V5. Calculate VC. And finally, calculate IC. Remember, IC was our initial goal. Did you notice that we've not explained how to calculate R1, R2, R3 from RA, RB, and RC? Here are the formulas. It's called a delta Y transformation. Calculating 1, 2, and 3 from A, B, and C. And if you want to go the other way, this is called a Y delta transformation calculating A, B, and C, given 1, 2, and 3. 
This exercise permits us to demonstrate our basic circuit analysis skills and also it introduces us to the delta Y transformation. It also demonstrates the importance of drawing several intermediate circuit diagrams to keep track of all the variables. Delta Y transformations are used extensively in three-phase circuits.